Al McGee here at the African American Film Critics Association 14th Annual Award Ceremony. I'm on the red carpet, I'm going to see some great stars here on the red carpet, here at the 14th Annual African American Film Critics Association. Keep watching. Thanks. How you doing, Charmaine? Hi. I'm Al McGee with YTicket.com, but hey, I'm really glad to see you here, Miss Bingwa. And you were in Emancipation, and you work with one of the most talented directors of all time, but your acting is really good in that film. How did you, uh, well, after you completed the film, what did you find in yourself about that role after you finished completing that film, Emancipation? Well, firstly, thank you so much, and it was just an honor and a privilege to be a part of that movie, and, um, you know, it changes you. The, these experiences, you look back and, you know, it feels like a love letter to our ancestors in a way, because all of the sacrifice and courage they showed, and, you know, you just hope that a little bit of residue has stayed with you as a human, too. Oh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> and I really enjoy your acting style. You know, you've done other films and other work, too. But uh, just one quick question. How did you get into film, and why did you get into film? Yeah, good question. I think I got into film by accident, but it would just felt like kismet, so I, I wanted to be a musician all my life, and when I went to... What instrument do you play? I sing and I play guitar, so... What about you? I feel like there's a musician in there, well, yeah? I used to sing gospel music and things like that, but now... Uh, I'm theater trained, that's why, for one thing. I used to be in the theater a lot, and so, but I became a college professor. You know how that goes. I know the thing, yeah. So I went and tried to have a corporate job. I'm not very good at it. And then I, Neither am I. <laughs> that we've got in common. And then, yeah, I found acting, and it just clicked, and I, I love it, and I love telling stories and things that, you know, show the human experience. I know. Well, thank you for taking time with me. I really appreciate it. Appreciate Keep up the good you. work, please. I'm a big fan of yours. Hey, I'm here with Michael Abels here at the African American Film Critics Associated Award Ceremony. And you're the composer for the music for Nope and other, other films too. But let's talk about that film for just one minute. All right. Man, the music you had in that really uh, terrified me, but also I loved it. So how did you get that impression of what to do? Well, Jordan talks to me about the film the minute he writes the script because he likes to design the audio world along with the visual world. Um, and there's a lot of different genres in Nope. It's also a Western. It's also a family drama. So we had to have music for all those different aspects. And he really wanted those, those genres to feel as real as the scary parts. So that's where we started. That's what, he, that's what you did for me in that film, Nope. Man. I was, now, what other films have you done? Um, well, I did Get Out and I did Us, both for Jordan Peele. Um, I have one coming out called Chevalier. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, I saw the advertisements for that. Uh, it's about a, uh, a guy who plays the violin or something like that. Exactly. It's about a, a, a black composer named Joseph Ballone who lived in the 1700s, time of Mozart. Um, also, I have a film called Landscape with Invisible Hand that's coming out. Funny name, but a really interesting film. So uh, please look for those. Oh, wow. Man, you're really doing it. I'm, glad that, I'm really glad to see you doing it. Now, one more question. Do you, have you seen over the years more progress for African Americans to compose films? Yes. Uh, you know, since we've shown that inclusion is good not just for the, the soul but for the box office, there's more opportunity now than there ever has been for people behind the camera, people in the studio. Um, we need diversity at all levels in our, in our society and in our industry. And right now, there's so much content on streaming services and things. If you're someone who's felt left out of uh, the business before, there's more opportunity than there ever has been. I see that. I better try to get into that myself, Michael. <laughs> well, thank you for taking time with me, Al McGee at YETicket.com. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Nice meeting you. Keep you up too. the good work, too. Thanks, sir. This is your